Hi, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Now we're going to look at the uh, tibial femoral joint at end range. So we know mechanically when we want to get our glide, so the bone would go that way and the glide would normally go that way for flexion. We'd go in a, to a posterior glide. At end range, in order to get that full range, we need a little bit of an anterior tilt of the tibia. And I'll show you, and that's a good way to get that end range motion. Kind of looks like an anterior draw. So you have the patient, I go through here, I find the, the tibia, Right, here's the joint. I go beneath it. Have the patient going to bring your heel up as far as they can go at their end range with these big legs. I have to get in there. Okay, so I'm at his end range. Pull up further if you can. That's it. So now he's at his end range. In order to get that glide that lasts a little bit, all I have to do is take my fingers through here and I just give a, a posterior to anterior glide and get that mobilization. We could also bias it by pulling a little bit more on the lateral side to get that medial rotation. It's associated with flexion, or we could do both sides. You could actually feel it as you do it that this side wants to come forward a little bit more than this side, which makes sense. So we can do our, our sit back, so we can hold it as a mobilization. So an end range knee flexion mobilization. So it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.